waiting to always eat John Jador. Uh, this is me and my word of the day. Uh, I'm back in Con River now for the weekend uh, to visit my parents. Uh, and this here's our, uh, the wigwam. It's the traditional uh, Mi'kmaq uh, dwelling place. Uh, so uh, I thought I'd just do a couple parts of the, of the wigwam to uh, kind of uh, explain a bit better. I thought I'd start with the uh, actual poles that uh, some people refer to them as the, the, the structural poles and some other people say they're the poles that hold down the birch bark. But Glee Badigan is the uh, is is the the main poles or the ones that hold down the birch bark. You, you traditionally you cover the, the ground uh, on the inside of the structure with boughs, and we refer to that as Weskidas Daskum. Uh, so yeah, that means to cover the the, the the ground with the boughs inside the wigwam. Also, where the wigwam touches the ground is called the gigum. Uh, uh, yeah, so that's the gigum here. You just put it all to the bottom. That's the gigum, where where the where the wigwam touches the ground. And the center of the fire, where the fire pit is, is the uh, mia wigwam. It just means middle of of, of the wigwam. Um, also, the pole across the top here, that across across the entrance, is called the glee gun. Uh, and yes, you know, those are the the big big parts of it and uh, and birch bark in, in Mi'kmaq is Moskwi. So uh, so those are parts of some parts of the week along. Uh, so yeah, that's it for the word of the day. Alright, so that's the, the 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 structural words for some some of the uh, parts of, of the wigwam. So uh, I guess I'll see you again another time to Maltus. <laughs>